Folks, this video and this shortcut is for you uh, since I know uh, you read quite a lot about the necessity of standardized or productized service offerings, right? And I know certainly I am talking a lot about this topic, but I want today's video to just is supposed to be a shortcut for you to understand yeah, and answer the most important questions. Why is it important and how do I do it? So let me help firstly with the why. Ask yourself, do you want to start at zero with every new client, every new customer? Do you want to have everything individualized for every single customer? How do you want to train and onboard new people? As a business owner, do you merely want to be focusing on a project delivery part? And who's focusing on getting new clients, grow your business in general? And do you want to engage in never ending sales cycles with unknown requirements from client side and basically into the blue estimated efforts from your side? Basically, you know, more or less a game that you play. Or do you want to have a standardized service delivery? Yeah, that is basically very similar for every client. And onboarding, a really and a real onboarding for new staff. Less effort for new clients, shorter sales cycles, and simply a more scalable project delivery and sales pipeline. Okay, uh, understood. I know it's difficult and I know you'll be thinking now, maybe that works for others, for other businesses, but for, not, not for my business. It's super individual. Heard that a million times. Yeah. But why do other businesses scale? Ask yourself that and some stagnate or even decline. Yeah. So in this video, I want to give you a real life example yeah, on how a standardized or productized service offering can look like, in this case for Microsoft Dynamics 365, project operations. Yeah? If you wanna have the script here, you can DM me the word Microsoft, and I'll send you re this real life example. But before I'm jumping into the video, I want to get down to more benefits, why it is so important. I know I've been telling that, but it's so, 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 so crucial. So let me give, give me give, give me a couple of minutes here, or basically maybe just one to again highlight. Yeah. So it's about the consistency and quality assurance. Yeah. So the standardized or productized service offering is not just a marketing gig. Yeah, it works very good, very well in terms of marketing. I agree. Yeah. But it ensures consistency in delivery across. Uh, multiple projects, yeah. Whether implementing Dynamics 365 for project management, resource allocation, or scheduling whatsoever for every client in CC, yeah. And clients appreciate, yeah, knowing what to expect. That's the point. It's a, it's an expectation management, time, budget, and quality, basically. The most, most important, what do you expect? What is the delivery? How much does it cost? How much does it take? Isn't that always the same questions that we are playing? Well, why not answering in the first place? You can streamline your operations, yeah? Well, because in this case, a standardized offering, for example, for project operations, yeah, creates a playbook, yeah, reducing guesswork and minimizing errors. So you'll be doing it better than before. It leads to scalability and growth, once again, no? because the standardized offering is, is simplifies the scaling. Yeah? New team members quickly can learn established procedures. Yeah? Makes sense, right? And you have, again, also the, the, the nice wording, marketing wording, data-driven decision-making, yeah? standardization in general allows better data collection and analysis. So you can better track your performance from your team, from your company. You can identify bottlenecks and make really, really good decisions on what to improve in the future, right? Makes sense, I know. So let's dive a little bit deeper into how it can look like. 
So I'm gonna go a little bit away from this here and I'll make myself a bit, bit smaller because I'm not the focus. So how, for example, uh, how can a simplified PO, Microsoft Dynamics 365 PO service, a standardized service offering can look like? So, basically short description, yeah, have that. So you want to have outlined the key feature for every, 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 every standardized or productized service offering. What is most important? The end result for the client. It needs to be crystal clear. Like, like it needs to be, again, you're answering, you're pre-answering the questions. What do I get? What do I expect? What can I expect? What does it cost and how long does it take? Perfect. Now, this is simplified. Obviously, we have um, also real life, uh, like real uh, examples from clients, which I don't want to share, uh, but we can create that individually for you. Um, and this is based on my own uh, standardized service offerings from my previous companies. Yeah. So basically, key features can be an ass initial assessment and scoping. Now we are here right now, and again, for how do you? And this is also a good question. How do you usually? Um, Determine how long does it take? Uh, what does it cost? At the internal steps, yeah, for a price calculation. So initial assessment and scoping. Understand client project requirements to some extent. Yeah, you can always uh, uh, imagine something like a wind, uh, like a house, where you can ask the client what color does it sh shall the door have, what color should the windows look like, and so on. But it's all predefined. It doesn't take you any effort. Yeah. Business processes, workflows, you know, you can define the templates, the tasks, and the milestone. So then the initial configuration and setup. So you need the templates, the resource allocation, scheduling, maybe integration with Teams and SharePoint. We're gonna take a look at this resource management. So we wanna, uh, because that's a that's a core feature of PO, resource allocation, workload balancing, and then also uh, set up the role-based access controls for team members, which is possible in PO. Yeah? Then training and adoption, obviously training sessions for the staff of the client, also best practices for planning, tracking and reporting. Yeah? And then post implementation or hyper care support, yeah? issues uh, that comes after the go live and maybe assist with customization or additional features. So deliverables, the end result here is a detailed project implementation plan, the lead from lead to opportunity to order, uh, actually I forgot that here, to order, whoop, to project contract, yeah? So the lead to cash process, yeah? The project management part, remember in project, uh, project uh, <laughs> um, in PO, there is a Microsoft project integrated for the task allocation for the milestones, so, yeah? Then you have your resource, and again, don't forget, projects need to be mapped one-to-one -to, -one to every project contract that you've won. Uh, that's one-to-one -one mapping, and then you have, uh, you can uh, schedule time and material or uh, fixed price projects with certain milestones. Don't forget the resource allocation, that's also deliverable uh, over all projects, over all resources, can integrate it with uh, Microsoft HR. And the invoicing, you know, for every project contract, you have a, uh, or for every project contract line, you will have a, a project contract invoicing line and yeah, T and M, uh, fixed price milestones, approval processes, and so on. So basically, the lead to cash process uh, and the project implementation plan. Use the documentation for project management best practice, customize uh, project templates and workflows, and integration with Teams and SharePoint, ongoing support for project related inquiries. Very simple. Of course, this is not the final version, but it should get you thinking. I don't want to deliver you, in that case, a one-to-one -one copy on how it looks in the, in, the, in the future, because it's always a bit different for every, for every business, but that's how it looks like. It's not reinventing the wheel. It's really just standardizing what you already are using. Yeah? Pricing, yeah? for example, base price package can be 5,000 euros small, 10,000 euros medium, 15,000 euros big and the steps just have a little bit more, you know, content in it, yeah? You can additional charge per user, 200 uh, euros, not dollars. Yeah? And uh, the customization fee, if needed, is for example, 1,000 euros per day. 
that I changed actually before. So, and the benefits here, obviously, you have a very, very efficient project management process, yeah, and lead to cash process. We can actually add that because that's for me very important, yeah. You have a consistent service quality, you have improved collaboration resource utilization, and you have a fast implementation process, a ready to use implementation customer template. Basically, again, the digitalized lead to cash project, the project management part combination, and combined with Microsoft Project and the resource allocation. Yeah, and if you want, you can even um, add the invoicing part, but that's contained in the lead to cash process. Why is that not correct? Oh, okay, moop. So, as you can see, this is how it can look like. Again, if you have any question around why you should do it, how you should do it, hit me up. Happy to share this as a template, as a very, very general template and answer all your questions. It's very, it's, it's a very necessary step to scale your business. Um, just going over FDE mandates, uh, time and materials, very, very difficult because you can only scale via time and via time means more people and you don't have unlimited people, but the leverage with a more standardized productized service offering is higher than adding more people. It's uh, over proportional. So hope that this video helps. Um, really looking forward for your feedback and just hit me up uh, for more. And um, yeah, happy standardizing uh, your service offering. In this case, Microsoft will share another video as well for the SAP part, for an example. See them.